Hello YouTube. I'm here with my lovely assistant Gracie. Say hello Gracie. And today we're here to talk about the psychic circle. I took the lid off because I was having a little bit of trouble getting it off so I could uh, show you what was inside but here it is. Um, it was created, designed by uh, Amy Zerner and Monty Farber. Um, the price for this board uh, with tax is uh, around $30. You can find this board in most bookstores. Unlike Ouija, you're not going to find it uh, in toy stores, which is, I think, good, but Anyway, you'll usually find this in a bookstores or metaphysical stores. And it comes with this uh, book here that talks about how to use the circle. It talks about the different symbols on the board. Um, some rituals to open and close the circle. It's a fairly detailed little book. To help you interpret your answers. <clears throat> and here's the board. Get down for a minute, Grace. Come on, get down. I hate to do this to you, but I'm making a video, sweetie. And here is the board in general. And we'll go over some of the symbolism that's on the board. As you can see, it's a very attractive board, very colorful. Um, you have the uh, elemental symbols. You have some planetary symbols. And some, just some general symbols like a hot air balloon indicating movement. Uh, an, uh, an angel with a trumpet representing uh, warnings. A crying eye indicating pain. Uh, a keep it for love, uh, artist palette for creativity, and uh, you got your letters around here. Um, you also have the signs of the zodiac, colors, and numbers. So as you can see, it's a pretty uh, detailed board. You also have the directions, and also on this outer edge you have some words here that are already spelled out like wait, goodbye. <coughs> near old, stop, stuff like that. Um, so it's a pretty nifty board. Uh, the only drawback that I can think about concerning this board is that the, uh, the little sticker here on the board, on top, if you don't have felt like I do here on the indicator, uh, you're more than likely to, uh, scratch off the, the, the print on the image here is going to wear really, really fast. And I've used this, um, this board with, uh, my hubby a couple of times. Come on up here then. If you feel you gotta be up here. Um, and he tends to press really hard when he uses it, so there's a couple of scratches, and it'll wear really fast, so make sure you have felt. But here is the magical message indicator. Uh, but yeah, remember to put a little bit of felt on the bottom, and that allows for, you know, smoothness around the board. But in general, it's a really decent board, and I have to say from personal experience... I've, the information that I've gotten from this board has been a lot more positive than what I've gotten from the Ouija. <coughs> and also the extra symbolism, the, the information that I've gotten has been, I guess in a way, a little bit more detailed. But yeah, I really like using this board. It, and it feels more natural, I guess, and a little bit easier to just go in a circle than 
using the plant shed. I find I find that the Ouija is a little bit more cumbersome. So yeah, in general, it's a pretty decent board. Um, in ways, I think it's a little bit overpriced. It tends to wear out a little bit fast, but in general, it's a pretty good item to have. So, yep. That's the Psychic Circle. Um, leave a comment, uh, video response, if you've had experiences with the Psychic Circle, or if there's anything else you'd like to talk to me about concerning the Psychic Circle, please feel free to contact me, and I will talk to everybody later. Bye!